Hey guys, MCU Clutch here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Marvel Legends series, the Strange Tales wave of the Blackheart Build-A-Figure. Here we have Moon Knight. I was able to get this figure from Toy Snowman, so link in the video description below for my referral link. If you um, are signing up for a new account, you get a 5% off coupon code in your Frost Rewards. Unfortunately, Moon Knight is sold out right now. Um, this wave is actually pretty limited. It seems everywhere. Uh, the only ones in stock right now at, to at Toy Snowman are Brother Voodoo and... Uh, uh, the Weapon of Vengeance and Damon Hellstrom. And then like Big Bad Toy Store, only Damon Hellstrom is um, in stock. So, um, you know, when these become available, you guys got to pick them up. Because I think Build-A-Figure Waves, since they're so few and far between now. Because um, this is only my second Build-A-Figure of the year. I got Zabu. The Void I got the, at the very end of 2023, even though it was supposed to be a 2024 wave. It seems as though maybe a Build-A-Figure Wave each quarter. So maybe only four Build-A-Figures. Uh, per year, not really sure. So I think they're pretty limited quantities, not going to be in big box retail. Um, it's kind of one of those jump when you get the chance to, to be able to get them. Um, so Toy Snowman had Moon Knight. Uh, I jumped on it to be able to get it. So now I have it, Moon Knight. Here we go. Uh, Strange Tales logo there at the front. Up at the top, we get the Blackheart uh, Build-A-Figure logo there. We get the artwork of Moon Knight on the side. We get the same thing on the back there. The bio reads, After a near-fatal encounter at an ancient Egyptian temple, mercenary Mark Spector agrees to become the earthly avatar for the deity, the deity uh, Khonshu. The Fist of uh, Khonshu. Uh, but here we go. We have Moon Knight. So this is kind of his West Coast Avengers uh, look. He's not really... I mean, Strange Tales, it loosely ties in. But this is more of a West Coast Avengers figure. So I actually brought out my West Coast Avengers figures. And we'll do a group shot of all of them. Um, it's basically a Moon Knight that we've gotten before. We get some gold accents on there. Uh, but this guy is also now pinless. So that's kind of the big difference. Enough of that. Let's get into it. Hey guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Help me reach my goal of 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We're about 2,500 away, so it's been climbing. We're getting there. I appreciate all your support and help, but if you haven't already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button now. All right, we've got the Moon Knight figure out of the package, and he's pretty good. I mean, if you have the other Moon Knight figures, do you really need this one? Only if you really want Moon Knight for your West Coast Avengers will you get this will you want to get this one I would imagine. The cool thing that's different about this one compared to the other Moon Knight figures is this one comes with the golden uh I don't know how to pronounce it. Ankh. I don't it's a weapon of his. I don't know if it does anything, but this is new. We have not gotten this uh before with any of the previous Moon Knight figures, so here we go. It's just this little piece of gold plastic there, which is cool. The other accessories that he comes with, he comes with a pair of fists. Um, as you can see here, and these fists have those holes in there, so you can actually plug in these little tiny moon claws. So if you stick that kind of in there, and then stick that in there. And then stick the third one in there. Whoops. Stick that third one in there. Boom. You've got those uh, moon claws um, in the fist. You only get three, so you can't do both hands. Uh, but you have those. And then you also have the big moon ring, boomerang there that's in the shape of a crescent moon. Um, we've gotten that with all the other Moon Knight figures. Here we have Bow Staff. This is just a white uh, plastic stick essentially um we've seen this before but this one is just all white uh but we also have the head sculpt to the black heart build a figure and this thing is absolutely incredible and i don't know how well the purple paint is really coming off in this video i feel like it's not but there's some awesome purple paint that's going on throughout like the hair i guess it would be hair in there and the texture of it is kind of crazy um, this thing is really cool. I'm really getting excited to take a look at Blackheart when he's all put together. So very excited for that. We'll go ahead and throw that off to the side along with the body that came with Storm. And we'll take a closer look at Moon Knight. Oh, and before, before we take a closer look at Moon Knight, I do want to point out that he does have a different cape than the other Moon Knight figures that we have gotten. So I brought one Moon Knight out figure out for us to do a comparison. And forgive me, I don't know if this was the original Walgreens exclusive release or if this was the Target exclusive retro release. Um, I don't know which one this was, to be completely honest with you. But there's the difference there. So you can see the capes are different. Not only is the it is it painted black on the inside of the cape, as you can see they flow differently. This Moon Knight actually uses the same cape 
from the X-Men 97 Magneto figure. I'm like, ah, that looks familiar. So it is the same as this Magneto one, as you can see there. It's just Magneto's is purple and doesn't have any paint on the inside. But Moon Knight's gets all black paint on the inside. So um, interesting reuse there. I like this cape a little bit more um, than the flowing one. Not that the flowing one was bad. It just was really long. So it basically, you know, acts as a kickstand. Whereas this one, not so much. But it still has good length to it or too much length depending on the type of pose that you kind of want to get them into soft goods cape would go a long way but hasbro ain't there yet because what they give us with soft goods cape very basic um i don't think they could pull this off quite yet that's a challenge if anybody from hasbro is listening and wants to you know step it up and, and take it to a new level on the soft goods hopefully we see that but now let's go ahead and get in for the closer look at moon knight Okay, so as you can see, it's basically the same figure as the Walgreens exclusive or the Retro uh, Target exclusive because, like, the head sculpt's the same. It's just this one is black, and I think we actually got a black head sculpt in one of those other ones before. So that is a little bit of a difference there. As you can see, the hoods are the same. The capes are different. The moon symbol is a little bit different. This one's just bigger and it's just outlined in black. There's no like silver pearlescent paint in the middle of the moon. There's no shading around it like we did on the previous one. Then the belt is different. We get this little scarab there. So very Egyptian looking. Um, and a couple of different paints on there. That's actually cool. So the scarab actually gets a nice gold paint over the gold plastic because you could see it in the form the gauntlet pieces the gold that's on there it looks like i don't know if that's a scarab piece also there on the gauntlets but nice gold paint over the gold uh plastic of the gauntlets and then his boots uh there are the shin guards are gold as opposed to the pearlescent white that we had gotten previously so uh, a little bit of a difference not a huge amount but the big thing is we are pinless now um, so that is the big change. Pinless at the elbows, pinless at the knees. Um, so there we go. Not a whole lot going on for it. We get the same, uh, like, Moon Knight armored hands. This one keeps coming off easy, though. I don't really care for that. I don't like that. So you just got to... Oh, it's in there pretty good now. Oh, yeah, it was in there pretty good. I don't know why it just wanted to come off so easily. Um, but that's pretty good. So now let's go ahead and zoom out for his articulation. Okay, so on the articulation, none of it should be new because we should all know this from the previous Moon Knight figures. Oh, that's actually black, painted black under there behind that cape. I did not actually know that since it's, it ports into the back of the figure, so it holds in place nicely. Um, and, you know, that, that collar piece completely covered that up. So there's some black paint in there. Um, can't really get him to look up. You can turn the head a little bit there. He can look down somewhat. Um, there the arm you can get to go straight on out like so you can do a full rotation just be mindful of the cape uh, And then you got the butterfly joint which works out really well Except the cape really gets in the way of getting that arm to go back But getting that arm to come forward you can get some cross body in there Which is good upper bicep swivel double jointed pinless elbow it gives you that much bend there Which is quite nice wrist swivel and they do hinge these grip hands here have the vor uh, the vertical hinge the fists have the standard horizontal hinge. We have an ab crunch on this guy, so we can crunch forward that much there, which is pretty good. You can go back a ways, but with the cape, that's definitely going to kind of stop it from being able to use. You got a waist swivel in there. Legs go out that far apart. He can kick forward very far. Uh, leg goes back tiny, tiny bit. You got an upper thigh cut in there. Double jointed pinless knee. That much bend there. You got a boot swivel right at the top of the gold there. Foot hinges down all the way. A little bit of hinge up, but the foot hits that shin guard there. Ankle pivot, peckles at the bottom of the feet. So there we go. Moon Knight now in all pinless, which is really nice. These forearm pieces are uh, new. So it's not like you can just like swap them around if you just wanted like an all white to be pinless. That's not how that's going to work, unfortunately. You could do it with the legs, um, but not, not with those arms there. That would not uh, work out. So... But there we go, Moon Knight. Oh, I lied, by the way. These gauntlet pieces come off. I thought that was a, just a new sculpted forearm. It's not. My mistake. That's why this hand kept falling off, because this gauntlet piece wasn't pushed down all the way. Oopsie. Okay, so full side-by-side -side of those two Moon Knight figures there. Um, again, I like the curves of this new uh, cape, and I like the black paint, uh, paint on the inside. The gold does really kind of make him pop and stand out. I mean, the white on here for the gauntlets and the boots and the belt were a pearlescent color, which was kind of nice, but the gold really stands out and really looks good. But you guys let me know which look do you prefer, the West Coast Avengers look or just kind of that standard Moon Knight, Moon Knight look. 
Okay, so here we have our West Coast Avengers together. We've got Hawkeye, we've got Mockingbird, we got Iron Man, Silver, Silver Centurion, we've got US Agent, we've got uh, Tigra, we've got Spider Woman, and we've got Hank Pym. So obviously, of course, uh, Mockingbird, Tigra, Silver Centurion, Hank Pym, and Spider Woman came in the West Coast Avengers box set. Hawkeye came with the Sky Cycle, and then US Agent came in the Controller Build a Figure Wave, um, I think. But hey, now it looks like, for the most part, I think we have the West Coast Avengers together. We've got White Vision. We've got Wonder Man, which I didn't bring out Wonder Man. Um, Scarlet Witch, if you wanted to include her. So we've got uh, the West Coast Avengers. If there's anyone missing, let me know down in the comments below. Okay, so we are two figures into the Blackheart Build-A-Figure Wave. The Bloodstorm, Vampire Storm figure, and Moon Knight. So we have the torso, we have the head. We're going to be rolling along. I think the next figure review is actually going to be Lilith. I'm just going to go in order of what's on the back of the package. So, uh, yeah, Lilith will be next, then Dracula, then Damon Hellstrom, then Brother Voodoo, and then we'll finish out with Weapon of Vengeance. Uh, so stay tuned for more figure reviews. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of this Moon Knight figure. What do you think of the Bloodstorm figure? Which figure is your favorite from the wave? Um, did you get the whole thing? Are you looking forward to Blackheart? Let me know down in the comments below. If you guys liked this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Help me reach 50,000 by the end of the year. I know we can do it with your help. Uh, greatly appreciated. And as always, guys, thank you for watching.